hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you can tell for the title we're gonna be doing a full closet declutter slash clean with me it's been a while since I've done one of these videos and my closet desperately needs some attention and a revamp so before we hop in, you guys know the drill. All of my social medias are linked down in my description box if you guys want to come follow me on there for more pink girly content. And other than that, let's just go ahead and hop straight in. Okay, so here's an overview of what the closet area looks like right now. I feel like these clothes are a little bit too packed in. And this <laughs> shelf right here is giving me major anxiety just because it's kind of way too cluttered. So I think where we're going to start... I think I'm going to start first on this middle rack and I'm going to take everything down, wipe everything down, and then go back in and just kind of rearrange and then move on over to that clothing rack. One day when I get my pack system in here, I feel like it's going to be a lot more organized, but for now we got to work with the space we got. I've got all these boxes up here and I've thought about taking them down, but I really don't know what else I would put up there. So I guess I'm going to leave those for now. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started on this middle rack. I know I'm definitely going to keep the Chanel bag up there and the little Kusin bag, but the rest of this might be getting moved. All right, so I got, I got everything wiped down. I was really surprised how much dust really just accumulated there. I haven't wiped that shelf down in a while. So we've got everything down here. I'm gonna start, go ahead, and trying to figure out what I'm gonna do on this top shelf. Okay, so on the top shelf, I'm not gonna change anything on this really. I'm not gonna put the earring stand back up that I had up there, but I am gonna do the Chanel bag just because it's a bigger bag and I feel like it, I don't know, I kind of feel like it just makes a, makes sense for that to be up top and not on the bottom since it is so big next up i had my chanel bag over here on my bookshelf but i think we're actually going to take that and put it over here in my closet so i'm going to put it on the second shelf here and i'm not going to lie i have the urge to want to try to squeeze something else in there but i'm trying to get away from that cluttered look so i think i'm just going to leave that like it is so on this third shelf here, I was thinking maybe I could do like a collection of three bags, three smaller bags. So I'm gonna put the Kusin bag right there. And then I was thinking maybe the Moschino bag or possibly, possibly the Chanel Classic right here. Let me see how this looks. Even though it's a little bit of a different color scheme, but I feel like it would look good because the other Chanel bag is up there. Okay, so I've got that like that. I would like to put one more thing on there, but I'm not sure what. So I'm moving on down to this fourth shelf, and I think I'm gonna do some of my Juicy Couture makeup bags. And I went ahead and added this little Too Faced one, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do on this last shelf. Before, I had my little Juicy Couture duffel bag sitting down there. I'm not sure if I should add it back or just do some more makeup bags. E, that is a hard one. Okay, so I think I am going to do some more of these makeup bags. If I can get this one to sit up straight. Come on. Okay, so that's what I've got on the bottom shelf down here. So here's what this middle section looks like right now. So I've got that. So before I move on to the clothes, I think I'm going to go over in this corner because this corner desperately, desperately needs to be cleaned out. So I'm going to pull everything off and then start figuring out what I'm going to do over here. So while I'm waiting to decide on that, I think I need a little coffee break. I've been switching out for my Dunkin'. I've been using these Walmart K-Cups. This is French Vanilla. They're actually pretty good. And we're going to go in with our little Team Pink mug today. These are available in my shop. If you guys want to shop them, that's linked in my description. But yeah, I need some coffee. Thank you. 
it's actually getting ready to rain outside and I don't know we need some cozy vibes I'm gonna light this candle this is my little USB candle lighter from Amazon I love these you just recharge them and it's super easy to light and it doesn't make a big mess and I'm so bummed. I noticed Bath and Body Works was having a sale on these. This summer boardwalk that I showed you guys in my last haul with the bigger candle size. But the packaging is totally different. It looks nothing like this. So I was kind of bummed out. Alright, so this is what I've got so far going on on this shelf. I took that Juicy Couture duffel that was down here and I moved it up here. And then I've got my Ted Baker bag. My little Too Faced makeup bag and that little MCM bag from Girly Pink Boutique. So far, that's what I've got right there. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do over in that corner. I might actually take this Moschino bag off and display that somewhere else. Also, side note, so I've been pulling off a bunch of stuff from my bookshelf. If anybody has any ideas on what I could do to display these Starbucks mugs, or wait, I'm sorry, not Starbucks mugs, Starbucks tumblers, let me know. I don't know what to do with them. I wish I had just a little shelf maybe somewhere on a wall. They won't fit in my coffee bar area. So I'm not sure where to display them. I might just have to keep them on the bookshelf. But if anybody has any ideas on those, definitely let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this rolling rack out in these bags. I need to, I really need to sell this bag. I need to clean it. It's got a little spot on it. But this little guest bag, I've used it like one time. And I guess I need to get rid of it because I never carry it anymore. And it's just taking up space. So I'm going to sit that over there in the sell pile. So I took out that bottom shelf. I decided to do some shoes down there. And then I also moved the little rolling rack towards the middle instead of right there. And I stuck the rest of these Juicy Couture bags up here on this shelf. So over here, I keep a lot of clothes that I get in PR and then just a lot of my pink tops. I mean, of course, 90% of my clothes are upstairs in my upstairs closet. But there's a lot I need to transition up there. Like this little blazer that is definitely not going to be worn anytime soon. It's summertime. It's going to be way too hot. So I need to move that upstairs and then I need to go through here and just see because a lot of this is just like really packed full like these purple tops I'd really like to just keep everything kind of just a pink cohesive color so I think I'm going to take these upstairs too. Even though it sucks because a lot of these are tops that I like to wear in videos maybe I can't decide. I know I'm taking these upstairs, but maybe I'll just move the purple ones to the back so they're not as noticeable. Okay, so I got some of those cleared out, and I really needed to make some room because I'm about to have a ton of these t-shirts coming in from my shop, and I really want to keep these displayed in my closet, so I might need to take out just a couple more. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. I've still got all this down in the floor, and... I want to find somewhere to put this little camera bag from with love shop thinking I might be able to fit it in the back over here okay so yeah that fit perfectly right there and then probably not going to do anything with this little ottoman I think I'm going to leave that there I don't know where I'm going to put this juicy couture bag I might have to put that oops, <laughs> I might have to put this over there on my bookshelf I don't carry this juicy bag much anymore. This is one of their vintage ones. So I'm going to put this in the for sale pile over there. I'm going to leave this section. I know it looks kind of weird with that little box. I'll probably move it. I'm going to leave that empty for right now because I'm getting ready to order a suitcase from Victoria's Secret. It's just the signature stripe one. It's a carry-on. So we're going on vacation in like four weeks and I desperately need a suitcase. So I think I'm going to leave that empty. That way when the suitcase comes in, I can just keep it displayed there because I think it'll look really cute with the whole Victoria's Secret theme. This is another for sale piece that I need to get rid of. Like this is stuff that I used to just buy stuff for. I don't know why. Like what am I doing with this? Don't need it. I think I actually got that from Ross a while back. So I'm going to put this over here in that pile so i've got these victoria's secret nesting boxes and i really wish i could find somewhere in here to display those but i don't think i'm gonna have room so i think what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna try to put them over here somewhere and i guess now i'm gonna be rearranging this 
this little shelf because I think I'm going to try to stack them over here. I desperately need a pack system and I still plan on getting one. The only issue is, like I told you guys before, we don't have an Ikea. Our closest Ikea is in Atlanta and it's like two and a half, three hours away. So I'd rather pick it up because the shipping is outrageous. But I feel like once I get that pack system, it's going to declutter a lot. Like, there's going to be a lot more space. And at some point, I probably need to do a part two and declutter this bookshelf because she is definitely getting cluttered too. Like, it is a mess. So, I'm going to put my little Chanel hat from Chains and Sprinkles up there. I guess I'll just keep that stuff there because I really don't have anywhere else to put it. We've got this section figured out. This little makeup case, I've probably moved this like 20 times in the past couple of months. I had it on my vanity, I had it on my bookshelf, I had it in my closet, and I really just don't have anywhere to put it. I still want to keep all these little Milani single shadows and all these lippies, pretty much everything in it, but I don't need this anymore. I don't know what to do with it. I really don't have the room for it. And if it wasn't so... I mean, this would probably cost $20 or $30 to ship. I would just give it away to one of you guys, but shipping on that, probably finding a box to put this in probably wouldn't be easy. So I don't know what to do with this. Oh, I forgot. I put my initials on here. So I doubt anybody would want that. But yeah, I don't know what to do with that at this point. I had this little heart bag from With Love Shop. It used to just hang up on the shelf, but I think what I'm going to do with it is move it over to my bookcase. So I just went ahead and set it over here. That way it's still out and still displayed. I know this probably doesn't match, but I didn't want to keep this on my bookshelf. I wanted to move it over here. I just thought it would be cute. I know it's a totally different shade of pink. But I decided to take this little Too Faced bag down and put that bag right there. Not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to lay it over here for now. Next up, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this little jewelry display that I've got that I used to have in the closet. I think I'm going to stick it over here in this bookshelf. And I got to figure out something else with this shelf because... I used to have that frame sitting up here on this shelf and I redid my ottoman. I used to have my Rose Forever displayed right here, but I moved it up here. Like this bouquet is huge, so there's only so many places I can stick it. So then I had to put the picture down there, but then <laughs> now that doesn't go. So it's like every time I move something, then I end up having to rearrange something else. Also came out of my closet. So this is another jewelry tray. I know it's like, what do you need all these jewelry trays for? I don't know where to put this now. I really wanted to stick it over there on that rolling cart, but there's no room for it. I need to do something with that too. So I don't know what we're going to do with that. I might need to, mm, I don't know, I might need to find somewhere to put that on the bookshelf. So far, I just need to clean up this last pile, figure out what to do with that, and then I think we're getting close on being done with the closet part. Definitely a little upset. I was trying to move some stuff around over here from up there, and I broke my little brush holder. It's totally destroyed, and it's got hair all over it, but little upset about that yeah so this is basically the pile that I need to figure out what to do I found my little Too Faced mirror I'll probably put that in my vanity I've got that tray I need to figure out what to do with and then I think I'll probably give the makeup case to my daughter possibly or if I don't do that I don't know maybe I'll take everything out of it I'm gonna chunk that little Louis Vuitton box and some of that other stuff I'm going to take the rest of those clothes upstairs. I'm possibly going to sell those bags. And then I think our closet, our little closet reorganization is complete. I feel like it looks a little bit more cleaner and neat. You guys remember what it looked like before. I'm going to pop up. I'm going to pop up a little side comparison here in just a second to show you guys what it looked like before. I feel like it looks a lot better. Like I said, um, 
I may tweak a couple things when the suitcase comes in and possibly move that rack, but I feel like it does look a lot neater. It's not as packed. I know the top is pretty packed full, but as far as like the middle section and especially that shelf, I do feel like it looks a lot better. You guys let me know down in the comments what you think, but I definitely think we made some progress and I'm really happy with that middle section. I feel like that looks a lot better, just a lot cleaner, a lot neater. So my next project definitely needs to be working on this bookshelf. Cause I feel like this bookshelf has kind of become my spot. Like when I rearrange stuff, I just pack stuff on here and I know it looks, it definitely looks cluttered. So I think that's going to be my next section to work on. I really want to work on decluttering a lot of things from my room and just kind of going a little bit more simpler. And while I'm thinking about it, I, so a lot of you commented on my last, what was that? My last girly haul about my chair legs. So you remember me telling you that I wish this chair was just a little bit taller. So a lot of you were saying that I could get the screw on legs and it would make it taller. And I went to Amazon and I looked and there's tons of legs to choose on there. But the problem is, so these don't actually screw on. They're like a bolt pattern if that makes sense they don't screw on they actually bolt on so if anybody has any any knowledge about that any suggestions please let me know i don't know what to do i mean if it if i can't get it taller it's fine i still i'm still very happy with the chair but i don't know what to do because there is no there's no legs that i can get because it's not going to have the same bolt pattern so i don't know what to do but if anybody else knows please let me know i don't even know where i would call like some type of furniture place that could possibly make custom legs like I don't even know where I would call to go about that but yeah I just wanted to throw that out there because a lot of you on my last video said that I could do that and I wish I could but they aren't bolt on so here is the aftermath I usually never show you guys what my room looks like like after I do something like this I kind of just cut the video but I was just going to give you a little behind the scenes of what it looks like now so i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning everything up we've got our closet reorganized i'm happy with that and i'm just gonna go ahead and try to find some something to do with all this all right guys yeah. so that is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave me a little thumbs up if you made it this far in the video drop me some pink heart emojis down below i love you guys i'm wishing you all a great start to your week happy monday and i will see you back here on the next one bye guys